This is our Forex blog for November 12th, 2012. And like we do most days, we use our currency meter to find the strongest and weakest currencies to buy and sell. Most people trade from midnight uh, until about 12. That's the most actively trade. The active, most actively traded time is from 3 to about 11 uh, Eastern time. So basically using this currency meter, you want to buy the strongest ones versus the weak and sell the weakest versus the strong. Uh, the euro was weak today. The dollar was mildly strong for the most part. The yen was strong. The pound was the weakest one. Uh, and the Australian is without a doubt the strongest one. So the most highest odds trade that's percentage-wise likely to work and likely to give you the most number of pips is selling the pound Australian. And as you can see, this one, you know, did, today was a relatively dead day in most of the pairs. You know, it dropped. Uh, here's some of the trades you might have taken in this one. You wait for a little bit of a pullback or a sideways rectangle pattern. And you can see, uh, again, it dropped from this little sideways rectangle pattern here. And once the market makes a move, big move, another big move, typically the currencies only go in one direction, three to five waves. So once it's on, it's elite, you know, just from not even going back any further than this, we already know there's one wave, two wave. If you get short right here, it's pretty much likely to stall at the 1.618, and you could have exited this down here with about 25 pips on that last trade. Let's take a look at uh, selling the euro dollar and euro yen. Since the euro is weak and the dollar's uh, for the most part strong today, uh, this one double topped right here from Sunday's high, failed. You can see it lost a little bit of momentum on that last way up, and it fell like a rock. This is the point of control of Friday, as is this. These tend to act as support resistance. Um, and if you see any of these signals, always look at the build your own trend on the bottom and decide whether you want to take the trade or not. Some of the highest probability trades are looking for sells. You get some sell signals here. The market's pretty dead today in this particular pair, uh, and it comes down. I would personally avoid the, uh, the buy signals on this one. Uh, and always draw your fibs off of previous waves. If you don't get a signal at a fib level uh, and the market uh, looks to be reversing, you know, a three to five bar up move, in this case, one, two, three, four, another two, uh, a wick on the high of the bar right at a fib level, pretty high probability reversal. And then you can see the next wave up, it hit the 1.618 fib area. Pound was extremely weak on the uh, currency meter, and so looking for sell signals makes sense. You have one here, market only fell about five pips. You would have probably lost four pips there. Short again here, it fell. Short again here, it fell. Short again here, it fell. Um, typically, these patterns are based on support resistance, bar patterns, uh, statistical uh, probability, the daily, weekly, monthly trend. If it's all down, then we're mainly looking for sells, and we're looking for certain bar pattern reversals. Um, but even without our signals on the chart, any time a currency goes sideways for two to five hours and it breaks down, it's a very high probability trade. You draw your fibs on that last wave, and usually the market's going to work its way down here to that fib, fib area. Every day you go through our uh, chart patterns and try to find trades that the previous day's uh, trade signals missed. One of the new patterns I put on was uh, a reversal pattern like this. When the market goes four plus bars up, pulls back two, goes up two, can't break the high of the previous swing and then reverses, it's a very high probability trade, uh, especially when this particular currency is underneath the point of control. This yellow line right here is the price most actively traded on Friday. 59.13, there are more trades at 59.13 area than any, anywhere else. And so it's major resistance right above you. Uh, the daily, weekly, monthly trend is down, and you can see this trade here found about a 25 pip uh, counter trend trade. Um, on dead days like this, you can take, you know, trades and take uh, five to 15 pips on them. Uh, when you see the volatilities through the roof, then you want to shoot for 15 to 30 plus pip moves. Uh, but for the most part, our FX signals are pretty accurate, especially when. Uh, you use the real-time momentum. You can see this one rallied up with a lot of momentum, pulled back, rallied up again. And on this reversal bar right here, uh, it was a lot less strong on that down bar than the previous bar. And once you're in the trade, 
you want to watch it, does it go underneath the hourly moving average right there? Yes, it does. Is the weakness uh, getting weaker? Right there it is. You can see as it's going sideways, getting weaker. And guess what? The next part is getting weaker. Weaker. A little bit less weaker. So you might want to exit half your trade or tighten your stop, put it above the bar's high. And, you know, you're going to have a lot of 5, 10, 15 pip wins, but you're going to occasionally, like this one, uh, we would have been short somewhere around 59 100, you can see it went almost 30 pips our way. We would have made 23 to 25 pips of that. Um, you know, if you have a, a, a few 5 and 6 pip losses, 5 and 6 pip wins, 10 pip wins, uh, 15 pip wins, 30, 25 pip wins, you're going to have a good day uh, using our FX trade signals. And again, always use the FIB areas to get an idea of where to exit. So you drew your FIB off that first wave. You can see it just tagged that area right here, and it wasn't quite as weak at that time that it was earlier. So you might want to get out of your whole trade here uh, down in there near 58.68. That's all you're going to get. That's the maximum profit. In fact, I would have got out of this right at this monthly pivot level here, uh, given the fact that 1.382 FIB target is just three pips underneath there. This is anytime two support or resistance areas are within a three to five pip range. It's called a support resistance cluster. And obviously, if you draw your fibs off the previous wave last night, or actually this is Friday, that area is right there as well. And anytime multiple fib areas all line up, it's going to act as major support. Unless there's, you know, minus 80, minus 100 weakness in our real-time tools, statistical tools, that's probably going to be where the market stalls and reverses. So don't get greedy. Uh, some of you know smaller percentage of your trades are going to go 20 to 50 pips your way than trades that are going to go 5 to 10 pips, and you're going to have more 5 and 10 pip wins in your will. 10 to 20 pip wins. That's just the nature of the beast. Don't be greedy. Take what the market gives you. Tighten your stop as soon as it moves your way. Use our signals as guidelines to trade. Uh, use the statistical daily, weekly, monthly trend and focus on trading in that direction.